to a nice, successful road trip. Uh, we got news last week about the internationals that will join the U.S. women's national team. We haven't heard the full slate. Probably get some players from Canada. Um, so the rain headed down to uh, Southern California, going back to Cali. Um, it was a couple songs that use that lyric. Oops. Um, for a battle here against the Wave, who are in that sort of top five, top six teams in the NWSL. We're all fighting for some of the top spots in the league uh, pretty closely. So it was a big game considering that, you know, it was like a send-off game for the internationals um, and, and, and seeding as well, uh, you know, fighting for points. So a win, though, a big win on the 24th at San Diego. Our play of the game forward, Bethany Balser, an 8.9 uh, match rating with two goals and three shots. Big, big performance by Boats here. Uh, the injury report, Angelina continues to be out with that knee injury. She's not on the season-ending list anymore. Just Fishlock with a leg injury still. Rose Lavelle with that leg injury. Uh, Phoebe McLaren is still dealing with that back injury. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then Megan Rapino missed with a leg injury as well. So, I mean, this was big. This was big. Um, no Megan Rapino, no just Fishlock. Uh, you're, so you're missing a lot of attack there from standard starters. Bethany Balser steps up. Uh, a great assist from Quinn on the first ball for a header goal. And then uh, Sofia Huerta with her assist. Now 31 assists in the regular season, which is tied for the most in NWSL history with Jess McDonald. We will likely see that record broken this regular season. Um, this was a big win. Uh, point blank, just to be able to go down there to San Diego against a wave team that has has, has had a successful year this year uh, after kind of struggling like both of the expansion squads, Angel City and San Diego, did last year. Um, and so for them to be able to go down there into San Diego without some key players and to really go and, and – uh, Solidify that. Even they were, this was a one-one match. So Bethany Balser's goal in this was a game winner as well. And, uh, um, very big, very big in terms of points and in terms of sending this off right. We do have some team news. This dropped earlier this morning. The Rain signed five national team replacement players uh, earlier today. A few of them had already spent time with the Rain. Jaden Edwards joined the Rain ahead of the season um, as part of the 32-player preseason roster after playing five years at the University of New Mexico. That's uh, And she's also from Mill Creek. Uh, number two, Kelly Fitzgerald joining the team uh, from HB Kolg in Denmark, where the team recently finished first in... Oh, Goodness, bear with me. Uh, Kevin Delagen, uh, she's a 28 year old midfielder. Uh, Kelly Ann Livingstone joined the reign from Denmark after starting in eight games for, uh, again, Fortuna Huring and Kevin Delagen. Uh, among the eight appearances, she helped the club win five games and earned three clean sheets. Um, she was drafted by Gotham in 2022's draft, 24th overall. Uh, Natalie Vigiano, she was the Reigns' 46th overall pick in this year's draft. She is officially now signed to the club's active roster. Um, Mackenzie Weinert, who's a University of Washington grad, first joined the club as a non-roster invitee ahead of the uh, season. Uh, she did appear in the uh, – International friendly in the preseason against Club America as a sub in 86 minutes, scoring just three minutes later. Um, oh, yeah, and that's all five. So, wait. Fitzgerald, Edwards, Livingstone, uh, Vigiana Weiner. Yes. So, very nice. Those are your five national team replacement players <laughs> as the rain will lose uh, those five to the U.S. women's national team. Again, probably more with Team Canada. Um, the rain sit at a seven win, four loss, two draw record, third in the league table right now, first in the Western Division of the Challenge Cup. Uh, looking ahead, speaking of Challenge Cup, they'll get back to action with that with the second team in the Western Division uh, on June 28th at the Portland Thorns with a 7.30 p.m. start. That's on Paramount Plus, which is another Challenge Cup match. And then back to regular season action back here at Lumen Field on July 1st versus Racing Louisville is a 12.30 p.m. kick. That is before the Sounders play Houston, and that one is on Paramount Plus as well.